the world, the world is going through a convulsion right now. And how the economics uh, of Greece and bank debt and, and the um, dishonest kinds of economics that have been going on in, in the industrial world, how all this is going to play out, I don't know. But it was very clear to me five years ago that even before any of this came over the horizon, that there's two factors at work that are going to cause everybody in the English-speaking world to get poorer. And it's unavoidable. And one of them is the fact that there's a billion Chinese and there's a billion Indians now in the labor market. These are well-educated, hard-working people. They may be better educated and harder working than most people. Right? And they've been suppressed for a long time and kept out of economic activity. Now they're in the game. Right? And we in Australia are going to have to compete with a billion Chinese and a billion Indians who work for one twentieth of the wage that, that we do. There's only one thing that can possibly happen as a result of this. Our wages and their wages are going to equalize. And 20 years from now, the Indians and the Australians are probably going to be more or less e equal in balance. No war, no legislation, no tariff barrier, nothing the government can do is going to stop this. The only thing that might stop it would be a collapse in global trade, which of course would even give us a bigger problem to deal with. Right. So that's the first thing we're all going to have to deal with. The second thing is, is that we're actually over something called peak oil. I'm sure you've heard of peak oil. Uh, there is going to be ever less oil available to us from here on in. And that means that the price of oil is going to go ever higher. And that's in real dollars. It's going to go higher and then higher again. And since everything in our world is made out of oil, all food is basically oil. Right? I mean, without oil, we can't grow the food. We can't make the tractor to turn the ground over. We can't make the chemicals to make the fertilizers. The entire food system is based on petroleum. And so everything that we buy is going to start costing more. So on the one hand, we're going to get poorer. Our wages in real dollars are going to go down because we're having to compete with the Chinese and the Indians. And on the other hand, everything we buy is going to cost more because oil is going to go up. And one answer to this bind that everybody's going to find themselves in is growing a vegetable garden. Food gardening is very counter-cyclical in economic terms. When things are prosperous, people don't want to have a garden in the summertime. They want to get in their car and go on a vacation. When times get hard, they think about food gardening. And so being in the gardening business is actually pretty good insurance against hard times. So times are going to get tough. Times are tough. They're going to get tougher. And then they're going to get tougher again. And even if the government tells us we're having good times, most people are going to have a hard time.